trying to get um, a urinalysis from Will right now. And uh, he lifting his leg. Let me see here. He is thinking about lifting his leg. Uh, he did originally, but Gloria missed the catch. So this is a two-person operation. Oops. Go peepees, Willie. There we go. Well, it was an almost. Here we go. Gloria, watch. We're still trying to get that urinalysis, that urine sample, rather. Go pee, Will. Will, I think you need to pee. Go pee. There we go. Okay. Uh, here's Will's urine sample that we'll test right now. Here's Will um, while we're putting the catheter in. He's being a very good boy. Dennis, you want to come behind and hold his back? Thank you. And the catheter is now in. Excellent, Stephanie. Do you want me to do this? You're going to go to sleep now, Willie. He's going to sleep now. Stephanie just gave him a little anesthetic. And he's snoring. And he just t did a little s snore. And so now snoring. she's going to prepare him to put an endotracheal tube in, which I'm going to get for her to help her out a little bit. Huh? Oh. Okay, so now we're uh, using a speculum so she can see the trachea and she's going to put that tube into the trachea. Nice job, Stephanie. You did a great job putting the tube in. <laughs> now Stephanie is hooking up the anesthetic to Will, the gas anesthetic. And he will go to sleep. So Dr. K can check out his little nasal passages. Uh, hi, Dr. K. This is Dr. K, the renowned endoscopist in <laughs> California. And he is going to perform a rhinoscopy on the very famous Will Sichel. Dr. K, Ellen K, is doing an oral exam. And um, putting a speculum in his mouth. Don't you ever brush his teeth? Well, that's a good question. We'll have to ask Elaine that. <laughs> I think if she was a good pet owner, she sure would be brushing his teeth. But, you know, she's kind of borderline as a pet owner. Looking behind his, looking in his tonsils. It's a little hard to see on the video camera. And looking under his soft palate. And I'm sure will tell us if he found anything. There, it's cured. Enlarged and a little bit out of their crypts. So his tonsils are a little bit enlarged. And the tonsils have some plant material. Uh, highly unlikely that that's the cause of the dyspnea that we're hearing. Yeah. It was not 
Now I'm going to use this scope to go up behind the pallet. <laughs> Looking for any abnormalities and form bodies, hopefully. So he has the end of the scope in behind Will's soft palate, and he's looking through his endoscope right now to see if he sees anything abnormal. Well, that looks pretty good. Okay, thank you. Alan, what are you looking at right now? You're in his little nose? I'm yep. in his big nose. His big nose. So on the right side, Dr. K found uh, some mild rhinitis and he's now exploring the left nostril. So, at least it's a minor uh, problem with an annoying sound. Would you agree with that? Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and flush the nasal cavity. Okay, excellent. And uh, uh, so all we found is a little bit of plant material in one of his tonsils and uh, a red nose. So Dr. K is going to finish up his expert procedure, and we're going to clean his teeth and wake him up. Would you please give us a, just a very quick diagnosis of Will's uh, nasal problem? Well, yeah, we took a good look around, and uh, there's no evidence of any tumor or foreign body or mites. Both nasal cavities are, are equally, con slightly congested and inflamed. So to me, this is a, an allergic rhinitis, or at least a, a, a mild to moderate diffuse rhinitis, which is just inflammation of the nasal cavity. People, they call it hay fever. So well, thank you. Like. And so it, it's it's a, a minor problem with a, a, a lot of a lot of noise when he breathes right. when he's excited, and uh, we'll try to treat it with some nasal drops as you recommended, and um, hopefully that it will resolve with that. Thank you, Alan. Yeah, you're welcome. And now that uh, Dr. Alan Kay, the renowned endoscopist, has assured us that Will will live. We have decided to clean his teeth. And here now, Gloria is doing her expert dental scaling of Will's very, very large teeth. How are they looking, Gloria? Great. Excellent. Do you see anything abscessed or broken thus no. far? No. Excellent. Not and a lot I, of tartar either. And have we trimmed his toenails? Because his toenails tend to get hooked up and bleed and cost Elaine a lot of money. What about putting some gold caps on his canine? You know, that's that not, cool. that would fit with Elaine's image. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, Will has decided to poop while he is being, and while he's under anesthetic. I just thought for Elaine's uh, purpose that she would like to see this that in action. Not. Smell-o-vision. Unfortunately, we can't record the odor, but it is what told us. Oh, here comes the poop. Excellent, Will. Good that boy. is Good excellent. <laughs> you did it all outside, too. I hope you're not going to put that on YouTube. You bet I'm putting that on YouTube.